So real quick public service announcement. I just want to let you all know lawn care and landscaping is a freaking joke. It's a gimmick. There's no money to be made in it. I just want to let you know more to this topic in just one second. We'll be right back. What's up guys? How's everybody doing on this beautiful Sunday morning? I got some errands to run, nothing really lawn care or snow removal related. Uh, they are calling for a chance of one to three tonight possibly. I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. I guess we will wait and see. Uh, I do have to run out. I gotta get an easy curl bar for my gym. Uh, it's coming along really well. I'll plug some videos here in a second, kind of show you the progress from you know where you guys last seen to you know where we're at now and uh, it's come a long ways but first thing I got to do is I am tired me and Miley we had uh, an indoor tryout for a travel ball team this morning she woke up not feeling the hottest stuffy nose nose running just go figure it happens on the day she's trying out for a travel ball team but anyways we got that done and out of the way she did okay, uh, not her best, but she did okay. But like I said, you know, she wasn't feeling the greatest. But I gotta get an easy curl bar. I'm gonna run up the plate again in sports. I wanna see if they got a Rogue, uh, maybe in the used. I know they don't carry them new up there, but I wanna see if they got used. And if they don't have that, I'm just gonna pick up probably like the cheaper Olympic uh, style bar. And then I'm going to swing over here to Starbucks because I need some motivation and I haven't got in my five cups of coffee today. So I'm going to get that done and then I got to swing up and I got to get some meat at Sam's Club. Mainly just beef. I need some steak and might pick up some chicken too. But we've been picking a lot of that up at our, uh, our uh, local butcher. Just got here to Sam's Club real fast. I also got my cup of coffee. Let's go find some beef. That's hot. I'm gonna let that one cool down. Let's get some beef. Beef, beef, beef. All right, guys, we got a few different steaks here. Got a big slab of salmon. I'm gonna portion out some shrimp down here. Check these out, though. Don't these look delicious? It's a cheese and fruit tray. Yummy. Meat and cheese tray. Chicken, cucumbers, tomatoes, yummy. And we picked up TQ, some flowers. Look at that sexy looking truck. Airplane flying over. Got everything loaded up we need. I didn't record, but I got the easy curl bar I needed. Kids some drinks, me some more protein shakes. Picked up TQ, some nice little flowers. Some salmon, a couple different packs of steaks. Need some more red meat in the house. Got some shrimp, uh, some vitamins, ketchup, just stupid stuff. Crap that adds up real quick, especially at Sam's Club. Think you're saving money? <laughs> no. Freaking come here, you get like six things. 200 bucks, no. But stuff we needed, it'll last a minute. So this is where we begin, this mess. Old hot water tank and pipes and just things that need tore out and cleaned up a lot. And then we hopped into freaking painting the walls, cleaning up the floors. A lot of that was just scraping, getting the old paint off. And then we got the family involved here. You can see the kids. The kids really love painting. So we kind of just let them do the corners and just areas here where we knew we were going to end up rolling anyways. And honestly, they did a pretty nice job. Here's where we were at the other day. We got the walls all painted out. Well, we were waiting on the electrician to come. So we just got home from the store. I want to show you all my budget gym that I threw together in my basement. It is nowhere near complete, but let's go ahead and hop into it. We have our little dumbbell area over here. We're going to be getting some of those power blocks that you can, you know, do multiple weights on. Put that here. And most of these will probably go you know, in the storage or at least whenever we're not using them. Uh, over here we have the treadmill. This thing was a pain in the arse, guys, to get down here. TQ took it apart yesterday. My nephew, myself, TQ, and my dad had to drag it down the stairs. Darn near killed us. Even put a dent in my brand new refrigerator from it. Pain in the butt. 
<laughs> uh, we can go ahead and hop into the floor mats real quick. These are called stall mats, guys. You can pick these up at Tractor Supply. Uh, I believe Menards carries them also, but these things are freaking awesome. They quiet out the entire room. They, they take all the sound out so I can work out down here. I can be running and nobody else in the house is even gonna freaking know I'm down here making a lot of freaking noise, okay? <laughs> so hopping on into it a little bit further, uh, we have the Marcy's bench, okay? Now I kind of screwed up here, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to get a power rack, but whenever I looked at the power racks, I didn't realize they had them in a shorty version and then the full version. The shorty version would have fit down here. We have about 70 inches. If I would have known that, I would have ordered the freaking power rack, but instead I ordered this thing, which it's good. It's working out well. Uh, we have the bench press, the leg extension. You can also do bicep curls on it. Uh, you can do uh, uh, squats on the back here. So these are not the normal pegs for the squat rack, but we kind of got to manipulate things a little bit, change things around to make it so that TQ can squat off this rack. Uh, the normal ones bolt in up here. Uh, they're just a little too high for her. She can't get up under it. It's just too high, but for this, this is just too low. So we allow her to use these ones, and then I put the normal ones in, which are down here, and these ones go up here, basically. That is uh, courtesy of Richie Plemons. TQ bought, bought me that for, as a Christmas present. I have not got a chance to hang it up. I basically got to get like one of the sticky hooks so I can put it up on the wall wherever I decide to put it. Uh, we have the preacher curl over here. Bunch of little stuff, uh, radio, uh, belts. I mean, it's just really a good quality budget gym. I don't, I haven't added up what I got in here, but I'm guessing probably somewhere around 1,000, 1,500 bucks total uh, with the paint, the lights, uh, the electricity. Uh, actually, I'm probably closer to two grand. But yeah, guys, that's my budget gym. I hope you like it. So back to the main topic of this video. Is lawn care and landscaping a freaking joke? Am I living some kind of dream? Am I in some kind of reality world here where, you know, these things just evolve from the work that I'm doing and the lawn care and landscaping we do doesn't pay for them? You know, was this truck free? Was it just given to me? You know, am I that special? You know, or did I bust my ass, you know, and freaking buy it? pay for it, pay for the plow. You know, nobody gave me this crap, guys. Have I gotten tools given to me in the past? Yeah, you know, a trimmer, uh, an edger, backpack blower. Yeah, sure, those things have been given to me. But the main knit grit, the lawn care trailer, the mowers, the plow, you know, the trucks, TQ's car, my freaking house back here. This crap I paid for with my hard earned money, okay? This guy irritated me last night and I get them all the time during this, this time of year. It seems like every year, whenever we get close to income tax time, these new guys come out and they want to start landscaping and lawn care. And I'm all for it, you know. There's nothing like fresh blood, you know, coming into what we do for a living and trying to make it happen. It can be done, but you have to be willing to put in the hard work. So this gentleman comments last night, you are wasting your time. Get a real freaking job. What are you doing? You're like 30 something years old. You know, you have no health insurance. You have no retirement. You have nothing. Really just talking out of his wahoo, you know, because he has no clue what my investments are, my IRA, you know, anything we have going on behind the scenes. He's just simply talking out of his butt because his butt couldn't get up off the freaking couch and do it. Could he? So no, I want to freaking talk to you guys right off the rip. When these guys, even if it's family members, friends, whoever, you know, when they get in your ear and they start yapping, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that, just let it light that fire up underneath of you. Let it just boil inside of you and freaking prove them wrong. That's what I do anytime, and I've dealt with it in the past. When I was first starting my business up six, seven years ago, I heard it from everyone. There's no money in that. There's too many people doing that. Everybody's just charging a few bucks, blah, 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 blah. Well, if you set yourself apart and you set your standards higher than everybody else, trust me, there is a spot for you and your business and your niche out there. You can make money off of it. I promise you, if you're willing to put in the hard work and bust your butt, you can do anything you put your mind to 100%. But when you get people in your ear, you know, they're trying to control who you talk to, they're trying to control what you're going to do with your life, where you're going to be, you know, if you're happy, yada, 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 you should do this, you should do that. They're only doing that because they never did crap in their own life. Make sure you remember that. Make sure you're watching who you're letting in your ear. If they're trying to control who you talk to, who you socialize with, 
what you do with your life, where you're going with your life, or what makes you happy, run and get the hell away from them as far as you possibly can. As always, guys, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. I'm going to go get back in my freaking la-la land and, you know, just dream up some more crap. Let's go.